Mission complete. Well done, 47. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? How are you? Who will this you looks be so unnatural. Score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Interesting. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Oi, allemaal. My name is Wout. And did you know that New Zealand is actually part of a much bigger sunken landmass? Well, if you didn't know that, please do subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell everyone you know to subscribe. And we are going to solve a Mr. Murdery in Hitman 3. Let's follow this dude. Madam Carlisle, please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madam Carlisle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer. The famous private investigator, okay. hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. I guess I got him. I do need my suitcase back though. I don't think anybody's saw him. Okay, no unconscious witnesses. Oh. Let's report to the mate and then hide the bodies. Let's see Mr. what we Whitmer, get. Thank God you're here. No problem. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Yes, yes, please. If you'd follow me. In a moment, dear miss. I know I oughtn't say anything, but... I think that's good enough. And I hope I don't get seen by those cops. 
I guess I got really lucky. But at least the bodies are hidden. Hey, how are you? Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. Ah, damn it. Um, I'm, 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 I'll be back in a moment. Don't you worry about me. Anybody going to go through here? Uh, I'm, I'm ready. Listen, sir, there's no drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. This will just take a sec, sir. No problem. I don't have any contraband whatsoever. Good. You're clean and good to go. Thank you. Now let me just get my briefcase. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to go to wherever I'm supposed to be. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. No a problem. A tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Why, of course. And discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. Yes. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Hello. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. Right away, dear fellow. Good chap. I feel obliged to point out the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar mm -hmm. with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. Of course, of course. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. Okay, will this do. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Okay. A locked room murder mystery 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Hmm. What's this then? Oi, what's this then, ain't it? A secret a door. door. A hidden it's door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Oh. Interesting hmm. indeed. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge hmm. Manor. Somebody who had access to this door. I think the crime scene has more clues, 47. Mysterious switch. Somebody had access to this room. Whoever had access to this room killed Zachary. Okay, let's investigate the room. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? That's the dead body, all right. Throat markings indicate a rare short lip. Hmm. Found in the bed. Plant poison. Plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Must have come from there. Ah, a laptop. Let's find all the good porn. Of course, I'll share it with you guys, if I find any. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Wow. 10 pounds for 9.99. Boots and stuff. Up to 50%. Boots and stuff. Who the hell designed this website? It's pretty good. 
but are they too big size can't size nine just be size nine why should makers do this to us i dream well man those are some legit reviews to be honest a note zachary's suicide note also a sample of handwriting it could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. I'm haunted by horrible past choices and their all-consuming consequences. Alex was the ref keeping me afloat. Without her, I cannot go on. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. I'm gonna just unlock this for a moment. Ooh, handwriting. Rebecca's notebook does not match Zachary's suicide. Okay. Hey, more porn. I mean laptop. Mark's life feels I was in a conference call several hours around time. Okay, so Rebecca's not the killer or she has a really good alibi. Yeah, let's investigate the rooms we go to before we go to Fernsby. Okay, open, 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 open. <laughs> Okay, nobody noticed us. We're here. Let's get the camera out. Is there any porn in the? I mean, just some other stuff. Hmm. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Madame Carla's late older brother, Montgomery. Ooh. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. There's no family without secrets, 47. But this family seemed to outdo most. Greenhouse. Oh, that is convenient. Walking cane. But that does fit in that mysterious slot, I think. In Emma Gregory's room. Keychain. Oh, it doesn't have the key on it. Emma's mother. Uh, details of Emma's father was the late Montgomery. Who murdered. Hmm. Some sort of revenge from Emma, perhaps? This is interesting. Whoever killed Zachary was in this room. I'm sure of it. See? Told you. Yes. Mr. Fernsby. I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Hmm. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. This is very useful information, 47. A quick glance and I can see that you've already uncovered some relevant facts. The oldest child of Alexa Carlyle. Suspect. The middle child. Yeah, we confirmed her alibi. Emma Carlyle, the wife of Gregory, and daughter-in-law to Madame Carlyle. Emma suspect in the murder. Yeah, I mean there was a lot of stuff in her room. Patrick Carlyle. So how does one solve a murder mystery, forty-seven? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. Indeed. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first. You need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. You mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. Uh -huh. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I You're giving me a bit of anxiety, sir. Patrick. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. 
He said he needed someone real to talk to. Hmm. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe. Okay, okay. Like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside. Except Patrick's mother, Emma. We Knew were sitting it. on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and... She's my number one yeah, suspect at the moment. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Too right she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. Well, let's just unlock it then for a moment. Let's see. Hey, a handwriting. Does it have the same? The office, Miss Miller, the room is accessible. The storage room install of quarters. The yeah, that's where I am right now. That's not a clue. That's definitely useful. Now, why would you have lethal poison? Oh. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course. Uh, okay. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Nah. Oh. Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother, Montgomery, 46 years ago. Ooh. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Carlisle's over here, right? I mean, Patrick. Yo, dude. Fuck down, Ant. Hey, 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 hey. You know I'm good for it. I'm a Carlisle. I'm made of money. Just lean back and enjoy the interest. Meanwhile, go and have some drinks on me. Christ, I'm gonna hang up. Let's talk when you calm the fuck down. Patrick, do you wanna talk? Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um... Rosie uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow. So we just banged a mate. By boredom. What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. There is a reason behind that. God, Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary in these circles. So, is that it? No. Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary tops himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Meh. Okay. Alibi? We you again? Rebecca Carla. Oh. Can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Oh, really? Eddie wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. See? My suspicion so has been with Emma all time. Changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. 
He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? One anything more thing. you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Is there anything else you want to ask me? That's about it. Let's get a picture of the documents. Documents by Rebecca, recent movements, unauthorized movements, okay. You look tanned. Whoa. Emma. Emma Carlisle, can you tell me where you My number one evening? suspect. Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Is that all? No. How you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some hmm. responsibility for how this ended. She supported his knows about plants. behavior by letting him live here. Anything else you want to know? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except... Perhaps I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Hmm. She's not cleared, questioned, yeah. Now let's uh, ask the dude. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. Okay. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Tell me about no, not Zachary. Yet. Zach? Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Anything else you want? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. I guess that's it. Ned. It's beautiful. Interesting, Edward's speech. It does not match. Okay. Yes, hi Cassie. It Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh yes. The dude said you went to the pub? Dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He'll never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting. And wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we You're not the murderer. around half past eight. If that's all. Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed death. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff 
all the company he had. Anything else I can do to... Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? The mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. I can't breathe. Excuse me. Well, you're not the murderer. Yes, this is either Emma or Fernsby. I believe it's Emma. Yes, I, I pass. Interesting. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. Hmm. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Indeed. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Tia, told you. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Still don't know how to can how I can make this picture right here. The map says there's a picture opportunity right here, but I don't know. Oh, footsteps. Ah damn. I already suspected it's an Emma. From the start, that was my number one suspect and I still do. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Hi there. Okay. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat, yes. please. Go ahead. Um, Emma, of course. Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? The power of the fedora. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emmer to reclaim what she lost, marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gallery to speed up her installment as the lady of the house seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? I want the case file. Yeah. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I'm that good of a detective. I expected you might show up. But to oh, kill me, not help she knows me. who I am. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I 
don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? Well, it could have been arranged. I'll have to see to it some other way then. The file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. I need some privacy. Thank you. Even got the original. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Bye bye. Alexa. Mission complete. Well done, 47. What's happening? This ain't good. This ain't good at all. And those bodies didn't even wake up yet. 47. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine. Shit! That explains why I could not take the boat. But if you guys enjoyed it, please do subscribe. We solved the murder mystery. Thanks all to you. And I do hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe. Tell them. Even tell your friends and moms. They definitely want to know that. And I do hope to see you again in the next one. Do do it. Got sights and guns now? Yeah. How about now? Over here! Cover me! There's too Walk many. Away. <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? There's just too many of them. Don't. Tell the constant to start running. Oh, he didn't betray us? You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. I'm so confused. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other, and I meant it. 47 killed her parents. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. What about Olivia? What about her?